In this video we're looking at how REE models perform with the new Pico smart controller wireless system. Got the handset here, the base unit's wired in down below. And we'll put the, the loco on the track. So this particular model has got an ESU lock sound version 5. And REE models tend to use ESU and Zemo sound chips depending on the model. The larger ones tend to use the SU Loxan 5s. That hopefully means that there will be a little magic trick when this comes on. The Zima ones are much more conventional. The ESU Locos have Railcom Plus. There we are. So the Railcom Plus is an automatic registration system. New Loco available. Press OK. We'll go into the Loco menu. OK. And down here, it has added a BB67400 REE. OK. Right. We'll have to add a picture. That's the only thing um, it hasn't got a picture on the Pico database. So it's something we can add or just use a closer vid picture. But more importantly, it has populated all the functions there. So there are about 28 functions on this, or 24 functions on this loco. And that makes it an awful lot easier uh, with the Railcom Plus models. So there's little symbols come up that give you an idea of what the, the various features are going to be. dynamic smoke package going. Fans going now. I did that, that's fine. That's pretty cool, it just shows that all works with the, the system. Some of the locos use Zemo decoders. Um, this is the little O3OTU. You can still use it. Um, it will just you will have to set up a manual record for the loco. So I've got one there, a generic one on address three. An American built loco, nice American horns. So with some of the specialist manufacturers it's uh, always worth knowing what decoders they're using and what models. Their instructions do tell you um, what they're using. But it's not immediately obvious from the packaging which uh, whether they're using Zemo or ESU or something else.
So the Z mode decoders do have basic railcom. So just as a, a thing on programming on main, we can read CVs on the main track. Go to the up arrow to read it. There we are. I've just read CV8 and it's given me the manufacturer's ID of 145, which corresponds to Zemo. So Zemo does have basic Railcom. It doesn't have the Railcom Plus where you have the automatic registration. While we're having a little bit of fun, we've got one of the big Mikados out, a PLM 282. Um, let's turn the track power on and see if the Railcom Plus does its trick. Yeah, a little red light has come on in the corner, so it's thinking about it. Yep, yeah, hourglass, new loco. Right, so press OK, go into the loco menu, RE141F. Yep. So again, the picture, because it's not a Pico loco, the picture hasn't come up, but... Oops. The functions importantly have. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so there we are.